In 2001, Olgiloto in Eorioki was chosen as the final disposal site of spent nuclear fuel from the nuclear power plants operated by Teolisud and Voima and Fortum. Posiva Limited is responsible for the research, development and technical design work related to the final disposal as well as for building and operating the facility. The bedrock in the Olgilota area has been studied since the 1980s by, for example, drilling dozens of deep research holes from above ground. In order to verify and supplement the results obtained from above ground, the excavation of Ongolo, an underground rock characterization facility, was commenced in 2004. With the additional information obtained from Ongolo, the suitability of the Olgilota bedrock for final disposal can be verified and specified knowledge can be obtained for the design of the final repository. Ongolo consists of an access tunnel, research facilities and three shafts. The excavation of the tunnel was commenced by the drilling of a pilot hole. Several similar pilot holes were drilled as the tunnel progresses. The pilot holes enable the forecasting of the kind of bedrock that will be faced as the tunnel progresses. In a similar fashion, research holes will be drilled into the final repository area from separate characterization niches in Ongolo. By investigating a core sample obtained from drilling, information can be obtained about the rock type distribution and fracturing of the bedrock. Through measurements conducted from the hole, information is obtained about the characteristics and flow of the groundwater. The core and water samples are studied in an above ground research hall. A drill and blast method is used for excavating the tunnel. The tunnel progresses approximately 25 meters per week, with a gradient of 1 in 10. A drilling jumbo drills the required blasting holes according to a specific pattern. The length of a drilling round is about 5 meters. Emulsion charging is used in Ongolo. After the charging, the round is blasted. The amount of rock dislodged in one round is approximately 180 solid cubic meters. The quarried materials are transferred to an above-ground deposition area for further use. Once the tunnel has made a full spin and progressed a kilometer to a depth of 100 meters, the ventilation shaft will be drilled. First, the vertical pilot hole with a diameter of 30 centimeters will be drilled from above ground. Once the pilot hole has reached the shaft crosscut at the depth of 100 meters, a rema bit is installed into the drill. By pulling slowly and rotating the bit at the same time, a vertical shaft with a diameter of as large as 4.5 meters can be made. In the shaft, a small rescue basket is installed for the duration of the Ongolo construction work. A total of three shafts will be made during the construction. The inlet and exhaust air shafts and a personnel shaft. The shafts will be continued in the same way after each full spin of the tunnel is achieved. The final disposal depth, which is 420 meters underground, was reached during the summer of 2010. After this, testing and demonstration facilities will be excavated at the final disposal depth, and the access tunnel will be continued to the level of the technical facilities, which are approximately 20 meters deeper than the repository level. During the excavation of the tunnel, the surveying of the bedrock surrounding Onkolo will also be commenced by drilling research holes from the separately excavated research niches into the area of the planned final repository. Various geophysical measurements and groundwater studies will be conducted from the drill holes. The aim of studying the holes is to model the conditions of the final repository. An essential task is to discover the chemical composition and characteristics of the groundwater as well as possible rock splintering and groundwater flows in the cracks. In the testing and demonstration facilities, studies related to the final disposal techniques will also be carried out, along with full-scale final disposal experiments. The placement of the final disposal canister will be studied by using two different methods. In vertical deposition, the copper canisters are emplaced in holes lined with bentonite clay, after which, the tunnel is sealed with compressed clay blocks and pellets. In horizontal deposition, the copper canister is installed in a perforated steel canister lined with bentonite clay. These supercontainers are separated from each other with bentonite clay blocks. 
When finished, Onkola will consist of research and demonstration facilities at a depth of 420 meters and a technical level located deeper from which there's a shaft access from above ground. The technical level has personnel, parking and maintenance facilities as well as Onkola's rescue facilities. Based on the information obtained from Ongolo, a construction license from the government can be applied for in 2012. After this, the construction of the actual final disposal facility will commence, so that the final disposal can begin in 2020. The final repository will be constructed in stages. The final repository will be sealed in the 22nd century, when all spent fuel from the nuclear power plants of Teolisur and Voima and Fortum has been safely disposed of in the Olkiluoto bedrock. <laughs>